What's up everybody, it's your friend Vengeance here. Today we are going to do a hero breakdown on the hero Midas. He is a light hero. He is a strength wielding weapon hero. Um, let's talk a little bit about his move. It is fast at first. Uh, it deals 590% damage to target enemy and inflicts 100% overload on self. Uh, grants a shield equal to 34% of caster's max HP on all allies for four turns and increases the mana required for next skill is what overload does, which he's going to inflict on himself after every special. You can get that overload down through red strike uh, red streak um there's a few good heroes in red streak worth possibly teaming up say felia uh, midas and thorson that alone would drop his overload uh by 40 so he would start with overload 60 after casting his special um but it's not completely necessary um, he, I usually find that he goes off a couple of times in a fight and the fight is over. Um, let's talk about his exclusive weapon a little bit. Um, inflicts 50% overload on the wielder except Midas and grants a shield equal to 21% of the wielder's max HP on all allies for five turns when each wave begins. Um, I have defense 12% as a special effect on killer's will. It is what it is. It's probably not the best special effect, but considering he is a tank, it's nice. As you see, he's got a 1477 defense here, which is uh, which is pretty damn good. Um, his weapon is one of the best exclusives in the game. I honestly have it in my top three of all exclusives. Uh, I'm sure that I will cover this weapon in a weapons video. Um, but um, really, really awesome weapon, really, really awesome character. Uh, produces tons and tons of shield. Really, really good to match up with a Malfort. Let's check a look at his Awakenings. Awaken 1 is going to shield self for 20% max HP at the beginning of each wave. So um, his weapon, his, his special uh, teamed up with some other characters that produce shield. Bang, he's going to start off with a nice massive shield just to start the fight. And as you see, it has no expiration. So shield sell for 20% of max HP at the beginning of each wave. It doesn't say for three turns or five turns or anything. So that shield will stay there as long as he's not being attacked and losing it. Um, Awakening 2 is going to be another standard Awakening. It's increase attack, defense, and max HP by 8%. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Uh, and takes 5% less damage, so he's more tanky than before. Uh, Awaken 3, I actually like this one a lot. Uh, increases stats provided by weapons and runes by 15%. Uh, that will stack with runes that um, obviously already give you some sort of a special effect. Um, it will also stack with when you ascend your slots on your runes. Um, that gives a percentage boost to your runes, and this awakening will further enhance that. Awaken 4. Increase attack, defense, and max HP by 8% and take 5% less damage. So it's, it's the same as effect 2, just doubling it. And then lastly, Awaken 5 is increases self-defense by 10% when casting a skill up to 30%. As you see, it's another one of those that doesn't say for 5 turns, for 3 turns, for 7 turns. It is a permanent battlefield effect. So, um, grading Midas is a little tricky. He's a really good character. And his weapon is is awesome. Um, he's very good on PvP. Um, anybody using it's not necessary to use a whip necessarily with him on the team because he's already a fast speed, but it will help a lot um, just to get the moves off turn one or turn two. 
of course he's going to get that overload after using his special so um, it will take you longer to get his special going again but again you're getting five turns of 21 percent uh, from killer's will and 34 percent from his special so you're putting a massive shield out for five turns you got somebody like a malfort doing the passive damage from having shields uh, it, the character you're targeting is getting hit by all five characters um, so it it adds up it adds up quick and it really makes malfort a highly viable character to play uh, Midas in PvP, like I said, he's really good. I like to take him in every Alliance War. Um, have him on a defense for every Alliance War. He's an exceptional defensive hero. Um, for Campaign and Tower, he is a big hitter. Now, after that first hit, or that first special, he is going to not get another special for a hot minute. So... There are probably better options out there to do that big damage, um, but not a ton of big damage in uh, Light Element. Uh, another hero to consider if you don't have him, but you need to do high damage output in a Light team would be Mr. Jacob down here. 502 to damage to target enemy and dispels all buffs from it and extra damage when it is against a weaker element. So there are a couple of options as far as heavy hitting single target heroes in light, but if you have the effective team to include Midas, it is quite devastating and consequential. Um, overall, I would have to give him an A plus um, to S ranking as he is, in my opinion, one of the absolute strongest characters, heroes in the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the hero breakdown. I will be doing more of these very soon, and I hope to catch you next time.